As an MC, I'm supposed to say how good these people are, but man, I'm blown away. They're terrific. We're in the, let's give them another big hand of applause. Francisco, congratulations. Man. And now to present the Community Hall of Fame Award to the Young People's Corps, I'd like to introduce 13's advisory board member and former New York State Assemblyman, our good friend, Ed Sullivan. Well, I think you have heard why these are these young people, the Young People's Chorus, is one of this evening's honorees. Uh, there are actually many more than the group here this evening, some 500, I understand, in all. And uh, their ages are from 8 to 26. These people seem to be in the middle somewhere <laughs> there. <laughs> from all over New York City, from different ethnic, religious, social, and economic backgrounds. These young people have come together to study and perform choral music in an environment where diversity is celebrated. Moreover, 100% of the YPC's choristers graduate from high school and go on to pursue college degrees. That's some mark, 100%. Not only does their singing apparently make them all smart, but it also offers <laughs> extraordinary performance opportunities. They have sung at Carnegie Hall, Lincoln Center, before President and Mrs. Bush, to name just a few. Next year, the YPC will represent the United States at the seventh World Symposium of Choral Music in Kyoto, Japan, as America's only choir representatives. Congratulations to you all. This evening, I am most pleased to present 13's Community Hall of Fame Award. We don't have enough for everybody, but we'll give you one uh, as a group thing, sort of. Uh, Community Hall of Fame Award to the Young People's Chorus of New York City and to the chorus's founder and artistic director, Francisco Nunez. <laughs> and, thank you, and, to the chair and vice chair of the Board of Trustees, Jerry Kremer and uh, George Nemeth. Since Francisco came up first, I'll present it to thank him. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you can say a word of whatever you want to say. Jerry, go ahead. Okay. 
We thank you very much for this award. I think that the reward we get is what you've seen tonight, if you will. This outpouring of fine music from young people who are a great part of this great mosaic of our metropolitan area who work very hard. What we didn't mention is next week, in 10 days, they leave for Bremen, Germany, where they will compete in another international competition. They have successfully won competitions in Czechoslovakia, in the Midwest, in British Columbia. Uh, and they're on a roll, like we would say, because they're really so good. Uh, we also, if you will, on July 4th, they will perform at Ground Zero with the governor at a very special ceremony. So we thank you. We're happy that you're giving them the recognition that they deserve, and to Francisco, who is the man of the hour, always our man of the hour, who not only composes and conducts, but he's a very unifying force for these young people. We thank you for this award.